Hello, this is Black Panther Boxing. This is going to be a video doing my reactions on the Anthony Durrell versus Callum Smith purse bid won by Al Heyman and will likely be in America on Premier Boxing Champions. Um, the bid of $1.6 million. Um, beaten. Um, Eddie Hearn's $1.2 million bid. Um, both big bids, um, a lot of money. And it'll be interesting to see how this fight goes. I think Callum Smith is a bit too much, a bit too big, um, and very powerful, and a massive, massive um, up-and-coming boxer in the division. Uh, however, this is a big step up for Callum Smith. You know, he's never fought anyone at this level. Rocky Fielding isn't this level. He's a he's a um, British level fighter. Christopher Rebrass isn't this level. This is new, next level for Callum Smith, and he's going to have to step it up in this fight to win it. You know, whereas someone like Anthony Durrell, he's fought, you know, Saki Obika, um, great fight, and also losing narrowly to Bandu Jack, um, and also fighting a few other guys. Obviously, they're the only sort of world level fighters he's faced. Um, you know, he's uh, he's won this title before the WBC world title, lost it, losing it to Bandu Jack, and now Callum Smith. And Anthony Durrell get to fight for the title. Fair play to Bondu Jack for um, giving it up, giving the title up, giving these two a chance to fight for it, freeing the belts, which is what people like to see. My early choice would be Callum Smith to win comfortably, um, maybe by stoppage, if not by points decision, dominating the ring, um, being too powerful for Anthony Durrell. But I do rate Anthony Durrell very highly. I think he'll give a lot in this fight. Um, you know, narrowly losing to Bondu Jack, who Bondu Jack was very underrated then and showing how good he is by taking um, James Geld and giving him a tough fight, one of the best guys in the division. Um, but Callum Smith, worth the wait and see. Um, it's a shame it's not in Liverpool, you know, we were talking about Anfield, but I guess that's, that's what you pay if you don't bid high enough, if your promoter doesn't put enough in. I don't know why Eddie Hearn didn't bid more. I guess it is a lot of money, but I thought he would have done everything he can to secure this. This is his golden boy, Callum Smith, one of his next big stars, someone that could be a massive pay-per-view star, earn him a lot of money. You know, you know the next Carl Froch, but we'll have to wait and see. He has to go over to probably somewhere like New York, I would have thought it would be held, and win the title, beat Anthony Durrell in his backyard. It would be a great fight to watch. I'm looking forward to this one. It'll be interesting to see when it will be placed and how far away it will be.